Hey everyone, Gerardo Castaneda here, and it's been a while. It's been almost three months. I know that I uploaded that video in July, if I'm not wrong. And this is my second video. I just wanted to jump back in and quickly just talk about why I'm doing this. Um, and the main reason why I choose photography. It's funny because I recorded a video about this a few months ago and it actually didn't work. And I took that as a sign that it was not time to talk about this until I had more experience. I have now three months of experience and now I, I am more convinced that I really, really, really love photography. Since I was a little kid, I would always just pick any phone. I remember my uncle would have a, a phone of the year every time. He would have a new phone. At that time, it was Samsung Galaxy S3. And it had a great camera, and I was so excited. And I would always just go outside and take pictures of plants or anything I can find. I could find. Uh, then later in my life, I remember my dad got given a, a Sony digital camera. It was a small camera. And I used to take it everywhere. Um, and I was thinking about it the other day and how actually photography has been present my whole life. And I have always been passionate about it. I just didn't fully know how to execute it. And I didn't fully know that it was something that you could do. I just love taking pictures. So that's the beginning of my career in photography, I would say. That's how I started learning about photography. That's how I started falling in love with it. As the years passed by, I would always edit pictures. I would download the free version of Lightroom and I would just edit any picture that I could. Taken with my iPhone 5, my iPhone SE now, or actually taken with my Samsung Galaxy S6 at that time. So I have always been drawn for some reason to photography. It is not until a few days ago that I actually sat down and thought about why. Why do I do what I do? Why do I love photography so much? I am a very nostalgic person and I just love to remember things. At the same time, I have a different view of the world and I just want to show it sometimes. I just want to capture it and remember that exact moment, but mainly it's, I love to capture stories. I am a very big story person. I watch all kinds of movies. Uh, if it has a great story, I have just been drawn to stories, I guess, my whole life. I love telling stories that are not being told by words, that you can just see a picture and you will feel that story. You will feel that picture. That's something that I am just passionate about. Um, I love also freezing moments in time. I love that with photography, you literally can make an object or something that you capture travel in time to the future. This is also one of the biggest reasons why I choose to do a YouTube channel, not only to be famous or anything. It's because I want to look back and I want to show my kids, hey, look, that's young me and I used to do that and I don't know what I'm going to be doing in the future. Hopefully I will still be doing photography and I will have more experience in photography and I will have a well-established business but not only around money but around my passion for photography, capturing God's creation. That's one of my biggest inspirations too. That's one of my biggest motivations to do photography. It's to capture God's creation. There's so much to capture out there, including, obviously, people. So, I kind of wanted to run down really quickly and just knock this video down and finally talk about why I do photography, why I love photography. This was probably not the best, most planned video. I had to jump in here and finally do it and just be that and stability I guess just beat that and just just do it you know uh, so if you're watching this and there's something that you really love and there's something that you know you're supposed to do whether it's YouTube or photography or any anything if there's something that you really enjoy and you know that you're supposed to do please do yourself a favor and 
get out of that room or wherever you are and just go do it. Just take the time to do it. Seriously. I had to get out of my house and come out here, actually go on a walk with my wife and finally remember why I love to do this. And I said, you know what, I'm going to record a video. I just finished recording a video with my wife for our joint um, YouTube channel. And I said, I am just going to go for it. I need to do this. So I'm recording this on a Monday. I do not know when it's going to be up. But hey, I recorded the video and I'll do my best to edit it simply because I still don't have the tools for that. So that's, that's another thing. Right now, I don't necessarily have an editing program. I don't have a great computer to edit my videos. So maybe in the next video or in the next few videos, I'll update you guys on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. And I hope it, I inspired you somehow. I know I'm not that eloquent. English is not my first language. It's not an excuse. But it's, it's a reality. My camera is about to die. That's okay. Uh, so I guess I'll catch you guys up in the next one. Thank you for joining me and thank you for being here. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, follow my social media that I'm going to link down below. And yeah, that's it for today. Bye-bye.